<laughs> All right. You guys ready for the show? Make some noise. Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. We're rolling. Welcome what? to the damn comedy lottery. We were rolling the whole time. We saw all of that. <laughs> all right. My name is Demetrius Fields. My name is Austin Locke, and this is actually a prank on one specific person in this room. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. This is our, this is our co-host for the evening. How Make some you? noise What's for Carlos on? Hernandez, everybody. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hell yeah. You guys know how this works. Dozens of comedians have thrown their name in the ring for the opportunity to showcase their best three minutes of stand-up comedy. They're then going to be rated on a scale of 1 through 10 by this panel of judges right here. The comedians with the three highest scores by the end of the night are going to come back up and they're going to do one final joke and then you, yes, you the audience is going to decide who goes home with the comedy lottery jackpot. Austin, what's the comedy lottery jackpot tonight? $170. A hundred and seventy dollars. Yeah. Wow, that's right. Pretty Someone's good. winning that. Yeah, that's how much money the comics put in the bucket. That's how much money these guys are getting it back. We're giving it all back. And uh, the way we like to start our show off is by having the winner of last week come up here, do a new three minutes, and we like to see how long the streak we can get going is. Right now, it's just two, and it's with Jay Turner. So we have the opportunity to tie that. So without further ado, put your hands together right now. Make some noise. Put your hands together right put now. together. For Dice K, okay, everybody. Hey, so, um, so the other day, the other day, I went to the bathroom at the cafe, and I was gone for just five minutes. When I came back, my phone was stolen, just five minutes. So I told this story to the bartender at the bar, I always go to Ex expecting him to be angry with me, you know, but he said, For just one minute, just five minutes, I, I once had my wallet stolen for just one minute. You are five minutes? I was just one minute. I thought, w w why is he b bragging about? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Th that's embarrassing for me, you know? Yeah, it's like six, you know? You're five minutes, I was just one minute. So lame. <laughs> so lame, you know? Th then the guy next to me said to the bartender, um, you, are, you are wallet? That's nothing. I had my bike was, uh, I had my bike stolen. Then another person said, your bike? That's nothing. I had my car stolen. Then, Everyone around me started chiming in. My TV was stolen. My company was stolen. My dog was stolen. My wife was stolen <laughs> by my young brother. These guys are crazy. Very crazy, you know? No one is listen, listening to my story about uh, my, my story phone. No one is worried about me. You know, so crazy, you know? You know, then, then, uh, uh, then someone from uh, Israel said, our peace was stolen <laughs> by Hamas. <laughs> then Palestinian replied, our land was stolen <laughs> by uh, Israel. <laughs> then uh, Ukrainians and Russians said, you know, said, they, they've stolen the world attention from us. <laughs> you know, a, a white guy, so a white guy uh, said, uh, America will be stolen by immigrants. Uh, a Native American replied, who did you steal it from in the first place? <laughs> then black guy tried to stop uh, the fight, saying, stop fighting. Someone asked him, um, have you, have you had anything stolen? He replied, we black people. Uh, thank you for Columbus Day. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, give it up for Daisuke, everybody. Thank you. What a, what a kooky coffee shop he goes to. <laughs> 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 that story is that if I'm in a coffee shop and the guy next to me had something stolen, I'm just gonna pretend like nothing is going on. You know, I'm kind of I'm locked in still to to whatever thing I'm pretending to work on right now. 
So I like I like the community you built, dude. One hundred percent. That does happen though a little bit to what? like when a bad thing happens to someone. Oh, in yeah. New York oh, people yeah. are so mean to them. <laughs> I watched somebody they dropped their phone in between the subway tracks, like between the platform, right when they were getting on the train, and like three people were like, "Yeah, that's why I put my phone in my pocket before I get on." The <laughs> dude, people are fucking assholes. I like your uh, I like the story. I thought it was fun. I didn't know where it was going initially with the stolen wallet in five minutes, but like I like the idea of the competitiveness. I think you just got to get the wording right on the last thing with like the black guy at the end because uh, I think it was I know what you were trying to say is like they were stolen but you didn't like hit that point of like we were stolen and that would have probably got like a way more uh, thing of laughter but it kind of faded in with the other thing but it, I don't know I feel like it's good I uh, I like what he's doing this guy in English not his first language he's got to put shit in chat GPT to be like is this fucking funny and then it, <laughs> it helps him to get it going that is but true. like it just takes a lot and I understand and I like really respect what you're doing because I'm not fucking going to Japan and <laughs> putting my shit in chat GPT to try to get it going but good shit man thank yeah, you dude. I thought uh, I thought it was uh Dope the way that I love the line, no one is worried about me. I think focusing <laughs> is like while you're saying that out loud is like, well, I have the fucking problem right now. I think focus just like keeping that as a thread of like the theme of the joke. I think it's cool. Um, I think it's dope to like, you know, you, you dress like, like someone like kicked you out of BTS, which is pretty dope. So I think people, people expect you to steal shit, and dude. the fact that people are stealing from you is like, wow, you know, what a reverse fucking. Dude, job. the B and T stand for big and tall. You keep <laughs> yeah, <bro>. stealing <laughs> clothes from a bigger, <laughs> larger guy. Yeah, this dude. guy stole my clothes. This motherfucking <laughs> piece of shit, dude. Yeah, he, st he stole my clothes. Like, <laughs> no one's worried about me, dude. Good shit, dude. Very funny. Yeah, yeah, I like that you worked Israel and Palestine into that. I was worried that Israel and Palestine weren't going to be in that joke and, and I'm, I'm glad I was. was so relieved when he mentioned it so that yeah. was real nice and the real sure, Ukraine thing was good but it was just like we couldn't really you stole our attention is so funny you stole, yeah, yeah it's very that was funny. good eight Whoa. eight from Austin eight I'm gonna give it a seven wow. I it me too really good. seven wow that was great. oh yeah. shit well you're on nice. amazing that's a good score amazing very amazing amazing make some noise for him <laughs> clap it up man so your second comedian coming to the stage. Guys, make some noise for Vishal K. Woo! Yo, what's up? Listen, I'll give him the phone back. I didn't realize we didn't get that mad. No, whatever. I, I'm Palestine. Uh, what's up? Yeah? All right, we'll get it back. All right, we're going to come back. I, uh, I'm excited to be here. It's my five-year anniversary of being a U.S. citizen. That's fun. <laughs> no, that's okay. You don't have to cut. I, uh, people don't understand what, how to ask me questions when they find that out. They're like, Vishal, is it tough to live in America as a gay Muslim? That's a tough question to answer because I'm a straight Hindu. So, <laughs> what? Real one-two punch there. Did anyone here become a citizen? Like, go through that process? Yeah. yeah? yeah. How long ago was it, if you don't mind me asking? Okay, so you know. Okay, so you know. If you guys don't know, when you become a citizen, the sitting president writes you a handwritten letter welcoming you to the country. Um, so five years ago, me and my family, we did it together. We got three handwritten letters from Big Daddy J. Trump <laughs> welcoming us to this country. <laughs> and you know we didn't get the first draft, you know? <laughs> You know, they revised that shit a couple times. But this is, like, a big day for us. Like, I remember our parents, like, we worked really hard on, like, the task, whatever. We got it through. So, like, to this day, we have three handwritten letters pinned on our wall in our living room back home. So, like, no matter where I live in Bushwick, Donald Trump will always be my president. You guys understand that? I gotta fucking live with that. I was a green card holder for, like, uh, 20 years. Long time. If you guys don't own a green card, you can do basically everything except vote. Um, but I was a green card holder in the North and the South. And the only difference is when you get the green card renewed, the options to fill out what race you are are different. Like the North, they have way more options. They got like Asian, Native American, Indian, South Asian, Hispanic, so on. But down South, they don't have Native American. They just have American Indian. And instead of uh, Indian, they just have Asian, right? So when I was down there, I would just call myself an American Indian. And it was like really easy to get into college because I don't know why. <laughs> um, I remember I went to the clinic and the guy was like, hey, you can't be filling out like this. You're not an American Indian. And I was like, what are you talking about? I'm in America and I'm Indian. He's like, no, you're in India. Now you're in America, Indian American. It's like, 
did you just have a stroke? What the fuck are you talking about? And he got angry. I was like, all right, all right, you got me. I'm an Indian American. I was in India. Now I'm in America. Indian American. I just have one question. What's an American Indian? And he's like, well, that's easy, man. They were in America, and then they became Indian. All right? It's fucking easy. Happy Columbus Day. I'm Vishal. Nice. Give it up for Vishal, dude. Extra points for the shout out to our former and future president, John Alder J. Trump. Appreciate that. Yeah. Check the stats. Um, uh, you're so funny. You're very, you're very oh, charming thanks, and likable, and um, I en enjoy watching you. Yeah. You too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you guys don't like just just men compliment each other. That's not fun for you. We love each uh, other. That's what I was saying. You guys yeah. should be complimenting each yeah. other. Yeah. Yeah. For real. <laughs> Dude, I thought that was a great set. I thought it was a little risky to come on stage with like a callback. Like it can be funny, you know. But yeah. sometimes yeah, I don't know. I learned it. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I took the but dude, your delivery is great. You have great stage presence. I think the uh, the joke about the like the gay Hindu thing is like is really funny. But I think there's just one more level with a, with a couple of your jokes where it's just like tell me a little bit why. Maybe there's like a tag on like why somebody would say that, that yes. be, it's something to explore yes. but it was funny it's not just a standard i just look gay it's like i'm not i don't know there's an identity issue two ways that i did like usually when people come up on here and they're like people think i look gay i'm like that's hack and annoying but i kind of liked yours a little bit more i think there was just one big missed opportunity where when you're getting these letters from trump i was like waiting for you to tell me what was on the letter yes and i was like this is just such a great thing to just like have be the funniest thing like if you made it so donald trump is suddenly sending ridiculous letters to immigrants like that fire joke like that's people that's yeah. they're yeah. giggling at the premise look at that <laughs> yeah. they're watering at the mouth for that premise they want to see it and i want to see it too when you say a handwritten is it like is it typed or is it literally like in in pen it's typed and then you have a signature oh wait god that's what i so someone else is typing it yeah that makes sense and writing it does it actually change from the president to the president or is it like a, like i don't know well, let's we'll compare oh, it, oh yeah it's here yeah, i can't really remember the who did you have? That'd be crazy if it was 20... Trump that also signed this fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just did it. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Generic Biden. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. That's it. If it was Trump, it would have been like, you dirty Arab, I never wanted to let you in. <laughs> if it was up to me, I've never done it. They're making me do this. <laughs> That's... Would, next time, next week, I'll yeah. do the impression. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll leave my homework. Right. Yeah. I also like that it feels like we're giving immigrants a chance, not only for a lottery, for a green card in this show. Yeah. So that's pretty, that's pretty uh, cool. But I thought it was, that, that's also something I wrote, like just like the, the draft of the letter from Trump, you going into that, I think would be funny. Like he started with like, you know, the you dirty, never mind, and then just keep saying never mind, and like just things that you could use as like buttons for that, I think could be dope. Um, the last line that you said, oh, I can get into college, um, and the last, I think you could get there faster. You had a lot of like fluff in there in between, but I thought it was, uh, I thought it was pretty dope cool. for those like three main jokes. So good shit. Give it up for him, bro. Give it up for Michal, everyone. What do you think it's score wise? Eight point five. Giving him an eight point five. Hell 8 .5 yeah. From Austin. What are you thinking? Mm, I think an eight. I like it. Oh yeah. yeah. All right. I'm also. I'm gonna go seven once again. I think that the jokes aren't done, but I love the premises and they're yeah. really on their way. And you're fucking great. So make some noise for him. He's on the leaderboard. He's yeah. at the top of the leaderboard right now. With some chance to win the next comedian coming to the stage. Give it up for Akshay Sampath. Woo! You better make more noise. Money's on Clap the line. Up, guys. Come for your host. Come on now. My name is Akshay. I uh, I flew a kite last weekend. Yeah, because I don't need to drink to have fun. Yeah. I need to drink to stop shaking. It's kind of a separate issue. Now, I like flying a kite. I don't like how many of my friends have been like, you seem like you would like flying a kite. We can all feel that's an insult. But it's like, what kind of guy do you want me to be? You want me to be like every other guy my age talking about like stocks and investing in ETFs? I don't want to do that. Oh, oh, you know what? I'm investing in my own ETF. I'm investing in extra time flying a fucking kite. That's, that's my ETF. No, I don't know. I do have to ask the women in the room. Uh, please be honest. If you saw a man in a park flying a kite, would that do something for you? <laughs> I respect your silence. I respect it. But like, okay, if you saw a man in a park walking a dog, that works, right? That's good. But like, here's the thing. 
They're the same thing. <laughs> no, they are, because like, if I let go of the leash, they're both going to run away. <laughs> they're a lot more work than you think they'd be as a kid. And if you have one in your 20s, people are like, oh, that's your whole thing. <laughs> you don't have a lot going on. I don't know. I do think it's funny the things that men do to like pick up women. Because like, we're dumb, so we pick something dumb, like flying kite. But then like, occasionally you meet a guy who picks right, and it's the scariest guy in the world. <laughs> have you guys ever seen this? No, no one in here has ever seen a man successfully hit on a woman. <laughs> Got it. No, I saw it once. I was with a bunch of friends. We went over to this guy we know's place. He had a guitar on the wall. I was like, oh, dude, can you play something on that guitar? He's like, yeah, of course. He picks it up. He starts playing that song from A Star Is Born. You know, the I'm on the deep end, the Lady Gaga song. He starts playing that. Every woman in the room starts singing along. He finishes the song. I'm like, dude, can you play a second song in the guitar? And I swear to God, he said, I don't need to he look, play a second song. <laughs> All right, I fucked that up. But uh, is that one minute or one am minute. I? All right. Um, I'll tell you one more thing. I was at a bar last weekend, and this dude came up to me, and he was like, excuse me, do you go to NYU? And I was like, dude, I think you're talking to the wrong brown guy. And he was like, no, I could have sworn I saw you at the protest earlier. It's like when the campus power tests for Palestine were happening. And I was like, yeah, that's where you see the brown guys. <laughs> but then he was like, oh, well, you're just a lot more handsome than the other guys there. And I was like, oh, you're hitting on me. My bad, dude. I've had such a long day. I don't mean to be a dick to you. I'm sorry. Please continue hitting on me, I think. <laughs> and he's like, oh, no, no worries. Masala. And I said, excuse me? And he said, it's a greeting that your people say. Uh, not my people, not a greeting. But what he was trying to say is mashallah, right? But I thought he looked at me and said masala. I thought this man kind of looked at me and named the spice my people use. That's crazy, right? Can you imagine if I did that to him? Can you imagine if I looked at him and said nothing at all? <laughs> No, no, don't, don't laugh at the white people who don't use seasoning jokes too much, because, like, I know you guys have been hearing them for a while, and now you're seasoning with a vengeance, right? I see it, right? It's gochujang everything, <laughs> right? Like, you don't invent Nashville hot chicken without being like, I'll show them. <laughs> That's how that works. All right, guys, thank you so much. You guys, Akshay Sampath. Hell oh, yeah, that was fun. So, Akshay, tell us about your alcoholism. <laughs> I uh, can't really get into it. No, I don't have a problem. I just like doing the joke. Yeah. I, was, I, I said that. I was like, God, this better be a joke. Um, <laughs> I really felt it. I saw you getting up. Uh, I pulled your name, and then I saw you walking backwards. I was like, no, 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 don't leave. You're, yeah. you're up now. My, so, my like, mom is about to fly to India. I was going to give her a call. And you're doing this instead. I'm doing this instead. You can do it live if you want. No, no, that'd be crazy. Yeah, that would be pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. Hey, trust me, she's going to get held up in the airport. I think you got <laughs> yeah, some time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to be fine, bro. <laughs> yeah. You got some time. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm Arab. I can make a fucking joke. Fuck you. <laughs> I, I, I like that you have a kite. I think that's fun. Thank you. <laughs> Hell yeah. You want to go fly it later? I would genuinely love to. That seems awesome. That does. Yeah. I'll hit you up when the wind's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah let me know when it's, when it's southerly or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I think it'd be fun to fly a kite on the top of a building because in my head it's like, oh, the kite gets to be higher than it normally gets to be. Wait, you know, that's like a thing they do in India, like a kite flying festival where they like fight kites at each other. And I there's... They like are on the buildings, like flying them at each other. There's a 9 11 thing happening here, right? <laughs> I, just, I just want to say the joke. Dude, right. that's so funny that he looked at him and he was like, he knows what's happening in India. <laughs> well, Do you know I what thought, they're I thought you enjoy the fun fact. That is, oh, fun. No, oh. I, that is very fun, and I'm going to Google this later. Thank you very much. No, that was yeah. great, man. That was great. I think uh, I, w I wish you didn't flub the playing guitar joke because I feel like I really Probably like me your. Me too. Yeah, it's okay, man. I loved your energy. I love, the, I love your delivery. I love the way that you uh, command the stage with your aggressively chill vibe. Yeah. <laughs> It's super fun. I don't really have too many notes because your writing is very strong. I thought the, the kite dog thing was fun. I think the you know, white people seasoning jokes, I feel like that's a little bit, uh, you know, we've we've been there before. I don't know yeah. if Nashville Hot Chicken can dig you out of the hole just <laughs> yet, but I still giggled at it. I still did like it. So I, I don't know. I don't really have it. I just feel like I have to have something to say because I keep doing this every week, but I liked it. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, I really like I the, feel e that a lot. the ETF thing with the kite. I, the oh, kite thanks, thing man. Was funny, but I think it just should just own into that even further. Like pause when you say like the 
I forgot the uh, ATF and like extra time flight, I think it was kite, what it was. Yeah. Um, I thought it was dope. Uh, so use that and just like use that pause because obviously like it felt like you were rushing a little bit through that, even though it was a really good punchline. And then same with the Nashville hot chicken line because I think it's a great punch after the nothing. So, Got it. But good shit. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it, man. I'm trying to come up with a roast for you because I feel like it's fun. Tell me if this is fun or racist. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's got a game like, we should play. All right, we'll, we'll lay the ground. He's got yeah. like this like cool like alternative like, kombucha kind of vibe. So I <laughs> I feel like your life is like the life of gluten free locally sourced pie. <laughs> fun, racist. All right, That's we'll fun. cut that out I later. Like that. Thank God we're not live streaming. Yes. <laughs> Eight. Oh, he's giving out hella eights. I'm giving out eights. Uh, yeah. Seven point five for me. Eight, seven point five, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna give that one to seven again. Seven, all sorts of sevens, all out the out the wazoo. Make some noise Clap for it, it everybody. Seven point five. Fourth. Uh, oh, he's on. The, there's only been three people. He's on the leaderboard. Guys, give it up for him. He's on the leaderboard by a technicality, but it's still there. Well, that was a good score, actually. That's yeah. a, it was pretty high. Some people fucking suck, dude. It was, they, <laughs> it's been three pretty good people in yeah. a row. Yeah. Make some noise for those people. Yeah. We got $170 on the line. You ready for our fourth comic of the night? Let's, let's yeah. see if he keeps let's... it up. Guys, give it up for Brendan Smith. Yeah. So guys, I had a uh, I had a rough day recently. I uh, you guys know I have a speech impediment. I talk a little different, and I was talking to this girl at a bar, and she said, "Brendan, you sound like you're a four year old boy." <laughs> yeah, but she still blew me. So what does that say about her? You know? <laughs> you know, like where's her head? At? I mean, I know where her head was at, but like morally, what's her standing on things? I don't know. Like it's hard when you have a lisp. There's only two options: you could be gay or be Mike Tyson. <laughs> You could be gay or Tyson. Either way, you're getting it on the chin. But, like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to hop on the speech impediment thing. I really don't. But I feel like people need to realize I have been clinically diagnosed as someone who can't really say SM or TH sounds. And my last name is Smith. <laughs> that's most of the letters. That's most of, phonetically, that's actually everything. That's all of it. And like I'm thinking of changing my name just to have a name I could finally pronounce. You know, like this is already this is already a changed name. My name wasn't originally Brendan Smith. My name was originally Brendan Sally Sell Seashells at the Seashore Stein. I just changed that one because I didn't want people to know I was Jewish, though. That wasn't a pronunciation thing. I don't know. I've been following the news. You guys see you guys see Kevin Spacey is squatting in his house now. They're trying to evict Kevin Spacey, but he won't leave his mansion. And people are like, man, look how far Kevin Spacey's fallen. But if you think about it, his house is probably like the least terrible thing he's been inside of illegally. <laughs> boys. It's boys. That's a... At least I hope it's boys. I don't know what would be worse than boys. I don't... I don't know. And you guys see... Anyone here watch that Jeffrey Dahmer TV show that was on Netflix? Yeah. Apparently, a bunch of people on the internet are mad now because Netflix, they put everything into a category, and the category they put Dama into was LGBTQ. <laughs> yeah, I get being offended by that. I was more offended they put it in food and travel, to be honest. That, I don't know. I feel like making an LGBTQ category and putting Dama in there is like having an age in film category and just slipping in Pearl Harbor. You know, like that's... <laughs> not their finest moment there, you know? That's not... I don't know. And then I have some news in my own life. I had a friend recently have a pregnancy scare, which anyone here ever have a pregnancy scare? Was anyone here a pregnancy scare? I don't, I might have been. I think I was, but my friend had a pregnancy scare and I didn't realize when you're a dude who has a pregnancy scare, the first thing you start doing is you start Googling all the reasons other than pregnancy your girlfriend might have missed her period. And then you just start wishing terrible ailments upon her. My phone was just looking at his phone like, man, I hope the love of my life has septus. That'd be real cool right now. Dude, if my high school sweetheart had ovarian cancer, that'd be so clutch. That would really save us. Okay, I'm Brendan Smith. Have a good night. Brendan Smith. Oh, holy shit, dude. You're making it hard on us for judges. We get fucking bangers back to back to back. No fucking notes on you, dude. That was fucking, that was great all the way through. I love it. You figured out how to make the Dahmer joke work. I did. Yeah. <laughs> He tried it for the first time on here, and it wasn't that version, and now it's so much better. That oh, was great, you. brother. I don't have anything to say. What do you what, guys have to what say? Do you, what do you do for like a, a day job? Do you have a day job? I'm an SAT tutor. You're an SAT oh, tutor. Yeah. 
Are you- I, I don't do the oil SAT, obviously, but I, <laughs> I think, yeah. Yeah, this is actually, today is actually my fifth five year anniversary doing comedy. Fuck oh. yeah, which, oh. I like how you took out the TH out of that. Yeah. Not the same, but five. I like that. Which That's I good. thought was really cool and impressive until the one dude said five years ago he became a citizen. But. <laughs> <laughs> As a white guy, yeah, that makes sense. Um, <laughs> I, I love the, first of all, I think it's amazing that you sound like the boss baby. I think that's something. <laughs> that, um, it's pretty dope. Uh, I also think that when you said that last joke, just like uh, um, the one about boys, when you like paused it, normally yeah. when you like literally tell the punchline extra, it doesn't really work, but I love that you paused so long that it, the boys right. hit even harder. Yeah. But I think it'd be cool to even use that as a callback to like the lady sucking your dick thinking it was like a little boy. I oh. think that could be like a dope little callback. All right. uh, when you when you have that for the if, if you wanted to do that, but yeah, I think it's dope that you can still say Smith and all the letters you said you couldn't <laughs> say. You're doing great in uh, speech now too, so it's working. Clap it up for him. Yeah. Dude. yeah. yeah. I have nothing. I have, uh, nine, nine, nine from Austin. That was very funny. Yeah, I enjoyed yeah. it. Eight point five for me. Eight point five. I thought the writing was fucking incredible. I'm also going a nine. You're at the top what? of the leaderboard, oh, brother. Make some noise for Brennan, everybody, yeah, dude. Hell yeah. These white guys are taking immigrants' jobs again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying what does SAT stand for? S- super awesome thoughts? What do That's you got? What do you got? What do you got? What's SAT? What does it stand for? Student aptitude test? No, but like it's like a bit. Like what would it stand for? Super ass and tits. Super ass and tits? You teach you tutor kids about super ass and tits? That's pretty good. I like that. That's a, yeah. That's pretty funny. I don't like that one as much, but okay. <laughs> Yeah. For you, I get it. Dude, different, different SAT stands for something Asians tank, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, nice. That's two racist jokes in a row. Okay, are you guys ready for your fifth comedian of the night? Woo! Yeah. Hell yeah, put your hands together right now for Kenny Fernandez, everybody! Yeah. Keep it going for him until he gets to the stage. Yeah. Yo, what's up? Make some noise if you're from New York. <laughs> it's okay. I'm from New Jersey. I actually, um, I'm actually from that racist part of Jersey. You guys ever been there? It's called New Jersey. The whole thing. Uh, you've been there. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you how bad it is. Actually, um, I moved into my apartment in Bayonne, not to flex. And on my first day moving in, I saw a rat in the kitchen floor while I was unpacking, and I was like, "Oh, gross! It's a rat." Yeah, but then the rat looked up at me and was like, oh, gross, it's an Ecuadorian. (laughs) Yeah, I'm 26, let's you know. Which means my dad's asking me every day, mijo, when are you going to give me the greatest gift of all? Some grandchildren. And I got to be honest with him, you know? I have to tell him, dad, listen, I should probably get a bed frame first before I even think about children. (laughs) That just seems like the natural progression of things. I mean, we're making progress, right? Because um, when I used to do comedy, I would sneak out of my parents' house and would tell them where I was. And for the longest time, they thought I was gay. They thought I was in the closet. And then they would confront me on it. He was like, mijo, where are you going out all these nights? What, what's his name? And I was like, um, listen, I'm out doing stand-up comedy every night, and that's where I've been going. And he was like, just be gay, man. <laughs> it's so much easier to explain to people. And I was like, yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah. When I'm not doing this, I mostly just like stay at home, eat some edibles. This is an edible crowd? Yeah, yeah this is Brooklyn, of course. Yeah. Um, my little brother just got into them, so that's been really cool. He's, uh, I gave him his first edible to take to college. And uh, he texted me one night, 2 o'clock in the morning, just like, hey, man, time stopped moving, and uh, I can't feel my hands. So me being a good brother, I took time out of my acid trip to help him out. <laughs> Because that's what a good Sylvan does. And, yeah, I feel like I killed it. I feel like I really, you know, I was like the responsible older brother. Until the next day, he was like, bro, I think we were texting in the family group chat the entire time. (laughs) Shut the fuck up. Yeah, look at this, dude. 4.45 a.m. Bro, I love getting baked. All right, so far, you know, sounds accurate. 4.55 4.55 a.m., yeah, getting baked is the best. At 5.02 a.m., my abuelita texts us baking recipes on how to make it bananas. <laughs> so now me, my brother, and my abuelita all do Molly together. Because that's what family's all about. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. 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 
Give it up for Kenny, everybody. Damn, I can't believe that the rat in your apartment nailed that you were Ecuadorian. That's... <laughs> no, she literally wrote that down. <laughs> That's crazy that they eyeballed that. Yeah. yeah. I would have thought, like, hey, what is this Mexican doing here? Yeah. yeah. They didn't even go look to Ecuadorian. Yeah. yeah. God, the rats up. are getting too smart. They are, dude. <laughs> These rats are... They're really... Because people are throwing out the books, and then re- the rats are reading now. <laughs> it's fucked the, up. The rats know. The rats know. Yeah. Dude, wh- uh, you said you're from Jersey. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, about like three years now. Okay, for sure. Hell yeah. yeah. I think that there was, I loved the second half of your spe- specifically. I oh, love the man. joke about the edibles and the acid trip and being in the family group chat. The only thing I would say is like maybe don't pull out your phone because you had to like fumble with it a little bit too much yeah. when you were doing it. But I thought that was fun. And then doing Molly with your whole family, that's hilarious. But I think the like with the first half, there was a lot of like internet humor in there. Okay. So it's like, yeah, it was funny. But like, oh, when the rat says, ah, it's an Ecuadorian, like I remember there was a big meme for a while where you walked into your apartment and it was just like, ah, a roach and then the roach was like ah a broke bitch like it's like the same <laughs> thing and then I don't know bed frame humor was also like super popular on Twitter like four or five years ago I'm just it's okay I'm not trying to like come at you I'm just letting no, you know I, I just wasn't aware like bed frame was in was a huge thing. Yeah, I don't know, man. Dude, you're not a fucking in bed frame TikTok. Dude? <laughs> not in bed frame TikTok. Me and Demetrius, dude, we're fucking deep in that shit. Dude, I bought one. I bought one because of they bullied me. They bullied me on the do internet. Think, do you think it was created by like big bed frame? Big bed, one hundred percent, dude. One hundred percent. Giant bed frame. BBF. No, BBF. <laughs> Bro, they're good, man. They'll, they'll bully us into buying shit. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little bit too nitpicky. I just feel like uh, uh, your story was uh, really original at the end, so I don't know. That's just me personally, but the audience seemed to love it, so I can go fuck myself, really. Yeah, yeah. big bed frame, also you, been bi- big conditioner. I hate big conditioner. I know. Yeah. You don't need it. Look who's talking. I smell the conditioner on you, brother. It's, <laughs> it's bro, that's a natural musk you're smelling, right, my boy. Well, yeah, um, good. Um, That's what it's called. That's what I buy. That's talking about natural musk, uh, <laughs> Ecuadorian dude. You do. You, I think you know to honor the only other Latino here. It feels like it was dope. Um, Thank I, you, man. It was awesome. I think you can animate it a little bit more. Like yeah. I'm not talking. You don't got to do like all the fucking gay bullshit I did. But you can also you can you know give it a little more because your hands were in your pockets. You were yeah, just yeah. like very like chill, yeah. which is dope. That's good energy. Yeah. But there's jokes in there that you could throw some more even within the words without even actions. Just like throw yeah. that in there. I also yeah. wrote the phone thing down. I don't think you need that. You can yeah. just get those punches so they're actually paying attention to those words which are important based for the joke itself. And based on the bed frame joke, if you're gonna say. Like the, I should get a bed frame first. Yeah. You said, uh, I should get a bed frame first before I have children. I think you can usually just flip that and say, before I have children, I should get a bed frame. So, like, do the punchline at the end as yeah. opposed to, like, they're going to just laugh through that. I should get a, like, yeah. bed frame. Yeah. You got me? Yeah. But good shit, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give it hey, up for man. him, guys. Hell yeah. Make some noise for Kenny, everybody. What are we thinking score-wise? Uh, seven. You going like seven? It, yeah. Okay. I enjoy yeah. It. What are you thinking? I'm being a little rough on you because, you know, you, that's a Hispanic brother. I think 6.5 for this one. But fucking 6. keep 5. going for it. Oh, oh, yeah. Thanks, dude. All right. yeah. I'm the worst person of the group. I'm going to give it a five. But I think if you're, like, conscious of your hands and your delivery because you're, like, fumbling with the stand and peeping it in your pocket, get a little bit more confident on stage, I think you're going to be crushing it. Make I some noise so for too. it. Thanks, Fuck yeah, bro. Yeah. Good shit. Hell yeah. Yes. No, I... That was for both of us. Oh, hey. <laughs> Comedian number seven. Woo. Guys, make some noise for Josh Tinley. Yeah. yeah. I've been doing comedy for a little bit now. Um, and I find myself hanging out with a lot of white people. And that's cool and all. Just like more white people than what I'm used to. Like it's gotten to the point to where like even I skip over the N words in songs now. <laughs> Like, look at this photograph. Like, why do I know who Nickelback is? That's not okay. It's not normal. Um, hell yeah, dude. You better laugh at these jokes. I got my hair did for this shit. Yeah. <laughs> I walked in here. I hate comedians. Somebody told me I look like an independent black woman who don't need no man. I was like, you are what you eat. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Um, yeah, dude. Uh, I, I'm 29 years old. I live with my aunt and my uncle. Uh, yeah, dude. I'm like a broke-ass Will Smith, you know? A fresh prince of welfare, if you will. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Now, I don't know, man. Every time me and my uncle get into arguments, every time we always like get into arguments. And for every like one question I ask him, he's always got like two answers. So like the other day I went over his I was like over there and I was like, Hey Unc, I'm getting something from the store. Do you want something? And he was like, Nah, yeah. I was like, What does that even mean? And he was like, yeah, so when I say nah, yeah, that means I mean yes. And when I say yeah, nah, that means I mean no. I was like, why can't you just say yes and no? And he was like, yeah, nah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. I don't, um, 
Man, I, I don't know, man. It's tough for me out here. Like, I'm I'm genuinely afraid of getting married. Like, marriage to me is like one of those Humera drug commercials. Like, they don't tell you the side effects until you're like halfway through that shit. Like, side effects include heartburn, indigestion, slapping the shit out of somebody at the Oscars. You know, shit like that. You know? Like, uh, recently, my sister just married a hood nigga. Yeah, dude. We realized he, I realized he was hood because he proposed to Meek Mill's dreams and nightmares. <laughs> it was like, I used to pray for times like this. I was like, that's not how you do it. Um... I feel like, and he got arrested like right after the wedding. I feel like he knew something that we didn't because the whole night before for the, for the bachelor party, he was talking about how it was his last night as a free man. <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't know, man. It's just scary because like he's in jail right now. What happens if, if they ever get a divorce? Does she get like 75% of his cigarettes? You know, 50% of his milk cartons? How's that work? You know, I'm scared if he gets out. And, you know, I like to think of myself as a protector. What happens if he gets out and hits her? That's my biggest fear. Like, I don't care how many homes you have. I don't care how many drugs you sell. If you ever touch my fucking sister, I'm snitching. Uh, going straight to the cops. Uh, yeah. Uh, I am not married. Like I said, I don't think I'm getting married, but I am dating. Uh, I'm broke as fuck dating. Uh, it's, it's tough dating when you broke. Like recently, this, this chick, she stopped talking to me because she was like, I'm broke. She was like, you're broke. She was like, she said this in our quote. She was like, I would rather cry in an Audi than a Honda Civic. That's, that's what she said, which is jokes are her because I don't even drive. So, yeah. Also, that's not even the saying. The saying is I would rather cry in a Maserati than a Honda Civic. Like, listen, if you want to cry in an Audi, I'll call you an Uber. We can cry together. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this last joke. Uh, I saw a post online recently. Uh, it was like a from a documentary, uh, it said, uh, back in the day, uh, it was mandatory for slave owners to have slave insurance, just in case if their slaves ever broke down or stopped working. Could you imagine being a slave owner, your slave breaks down, stops working, now you gotta call Triple K? <laughs> yeah. I did, a, I did that joke at a show one time, and this white comic came up to me afterwards, he was like, hey man, that's a great joke. You know, I wish I came up with it. I was like, eh, you kinda did, just a little bit, yeah. All right, give it up for your host. Good shit, bro. Keep it going for Josh Tinley, everybody. He has you give it up for us. We have you give it up for him. The world is in balance. You know what I mean? Oh, grab the microphone. Things, oh, things yeah. work. Dude. That was all I had to say. What do you got? Oh, I thought it was really funny. I thought they could have given you a little bit more on a lot of those jokes. I felt like they were really well written, and they could have like definitely given you more. Skipping the N-words and songs when you're hanging out with white people too much, that's a great opener. Triple K is... Uh... Do, you, do you relate to that a lot? Huh? Do you relate to that one? Oh, no, I'm saying it. <laughs> I'm saying it, dude. I'm saying, just holding on to what little blackness I have left. Dude, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, Fresh Prince of Welfare, great joke. Like, you're really good with, like, plays on words. I think, uh, I, I don't know. And the storytelling with your, your cousin proposing to Meek Mills. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. Yeah, yeah. They definitely couldn't give you more. I liked it. That's wow. all I got to say, really. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I thought it was a hell of a good set. Um, the N-word thing, I think, is funny. I think the Nickelback thing, it might have gotten lost because you said it too fast. Yeah, But okay. I think that could be another thing that you can throw in an N-word joke in Nickelback in there somewhere. Oh, like, now yeah, you're using yeah. N-word in there. I think For that could sure, be cool. Yeah. Um, the Fresh Prince thing I think was cool too just kind of owning it just like owning the uh, the McMill thing if you sang a little bit of that like Fresh Prince thing I think it would be more obvious the aunt and uncle in welfare I think that just would add to it gotcha, same gotcha. with the Dreams of Nightmares like I used to pray for times and then like act like you're proposing or something yeah, just to give, yeah, yeah. get that for people that might not know the name of that song yeah. white people but you know they know <laughs> it they hear it they hear it she's like oh I know it now uh, <laughs> that's for me too I had no idea what the song was <laughs> <laughs> and he's like okay gonna got be it. Real honest, yeah. Um, but yeah dude I thought it was a great set good shit uh, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Should, they should have given you more bro look yeah. at his hair he fucking killed it clap it up for him dude yeah. man, it. Thanks, man Triple K is really strong funny. powerful Triple black K woman who needs Triple no K is really good Thank yeah. You. Yeah. Appreciate dude it. Yeah. you got the same haircut as like when a bad bitch joins the marines you know what I mean you know yo yes dude like when you see a throwback pic of Be Nasty when she was <laughs> defending the country, dude. I'm about to start an OnlyFans. Fuck okay. it. Uh, oh, hey, from the back, yeah, you'd be winning. Uh, We're the 100. same shit. That's what they were, too. Yeah. Look good, <laughs> same stuff all the way down there. I'm about to be in my car with a bonnet on, swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> You're at, you definitely are in your car with a bonnet on. That shit is fresh. There's no frizz on that. I know you're keeping it nice, dude. Oh, for sure, dude. Yeah, dude. Come on now. 
Uh, yeah, I don't have any notes. You got anything you want to no, say? I thought it was good. I think you know what you're doing. Strong writing. I think the only thing that I will say, actually, is I think you just need to have a slightly more commanding presence. I don't know if it's also the hand in the pocket thing. Mm -hmm. I think your writing is on point. Like, there, there's nothing that I can add to it. But for some reason, the audience was just, like, kind of dismissing you in a little bit. And I don't know if it's because you weren't, like, spacing out your punchlines to give people enough time to uh, laugh at them. I don't know if it is you just kind of having a more of a commanding presence. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, just some little things like that, like giving the jokes just a little bit more time to breathe to let people know that you know that this is funny and they need, they're need they idiots if they're not laughing. Like just a little bit like that, gotcha. take you to the next level. I thought it was great. Gotcha. I, I, I will say something else. I think every time that you, like your voice cracked a little bit on yeah. purpose, I think that's also like commanded him more attention because it was like, oh wait, something happened. It made him feel something. Uh, so okay. you did that at the beginning and at the end. So yeah, I think I also agree with that. Yeah, what do you so. think of score wise? Uh, I think 7.5. 7.5. Oh, yeah. Okay. Same, same score for me. 7.5. Yeah. I'm going to go a little bit higher. I thought that it was 8. Love the writing. I thought it was hilarious. All right. Good well, make bro. some noise for Josh Finley. Is he on the leaderboard? We got 15, 20. You just missed it by 0.5, but that was fucking great. You guys ready for more comedy? Woo! $170 on the line. Seventh comic of the night. Who is it? Guys, give it up for Andrew Oreya. Oreya. Andrew, Clap it up, everybody. Guys. Clap it up, dude. It's Hispanic Heritage Month. Give it up for him, dude. <laughs> What's up, guys? How we doing? How we doing? Make some noise. Make some noise. Make some noise. Yeah. Uh, I'm a bigger guy. I started working out recently. And uh, I hate working out with dudes that are already in shape because they always say things I can't really relate to. Like I was hanging out with my buddy, and he was like, dude, I got to go buy new clothes. I was like, why? He's like, I'm going to buy clothes that are two sizes smaller because I could see myself fitting in that one day. Not me. Not me at all. I'm out here buying clothes that are two sizes bigger, being like, fuck, I can see myself fitting in this one day. <laughs> like, I carry around double XL shirts like most Americans keep guns. <laughs> I'm like, I hope I never have to use this. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I did just, I moved here from Arizona recently, and uh, when I was living there, I never really felt like I was from Arizona, you know what I mean? Like, people kept trying to tell me things to do. They're like, go to the Botanical Garden, go to the Grand Canyon, go see some art live in the city and I did all that and it never really helped it never really fixed the problem and right before I left I did something that finally made me feel like a person from Arizona uh, I, I shot a gun for the first time anyone here shoot a gun before that shit is fucking sick dude like I shot a gun bro it immediately changed me I walked into that situation a fat schlubby Mexican I left a 45 year old white Republican dude <laughs> dude, I, I don't exercise I picked up that gun I started exercising second amendment rights real fucking quick <laughs> Because that's the thing, like, I felt myself becoming more and more Republican with every shot of the gun. I was just aiming downrange, being like, Pfft. Honestly, the government really shouldn't be telling us what to do anymore. Pfft. I mean, we could send some of them back to their own countries, you know what I mean? Pfft. Who the fuck let Beyonce sing Jolene? No, but it is fun. I am trying to I'm trying to learn new things. Like I went on a date recently, we went out to dinner. And like when you're going out on dates, you have to learn things that you wouldn't really like, you would do when you're on your own. Like I had to learn how to eat again on a date. Like I need to know how to do that. Because like we went out on this date, she was she was full. She was like, hey, maybe we should take the rest of this to go. And I was like, to go? You want me to leave and not finish my food? You don't want a second date, bitch. Like, what are you talking about? Cause like that's the thing. I treat my meals like like mob bosses whose guys ratted to the cops. You know, I'm walking in there being like, we had a lot of fun together, but you're not seeing out the outside of this restaurant, kid. <laughs> I'm wiping down my fork with a napkin, being like, I'm not gonna leave Prince on the murder weapon. Are you crazy? <laughs> All right, that's been my time. My name is Andrew Ariana. Give it up for your host, everybody. I Andrew, how are you? Good. How you doing, Austin? I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm sorry I messed up your name when you walked up there. No, it's cool. We've just known each other for two months. It's cool. Yeah. It's fine. No. Yeah. yeah. I guess I always call you by first name. No, nah, you're chilling. I'm fucking around. Oh, yeah. How you doing, though? What you been up to? <laughs> yeah, I'm hosting now, mother yeah. of no, yeah. <laughs> You know, honestly, things have been pretty rough recently. <laughs> no, I'm totally joking. Life is great. Um... <laughs> How about you? How's, how's living with oh Rowie? Yeah, we're going to keep doing this. We're going to keep doing this. Have all talk, dude. How about we? Yeah, this is like the, the 40th minute of every podcast after. Yeah. Um, I don't know. What do you got? 
Uh, what do I got? Yeah. I think, uh, I mean, like, you kind of flubbed it a little bit on the last joke, but the, everything before that, I thought it was fucking flawless. I thought it was great. Beyonce singing Jolene is, like, the best way that you could have ended that yeah. joke. The only thing I'd say about that joke is, like, maybe make a funnier gun noise because pff, wasn't enough. Yeah, I, I don't try. It's too realistic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, that's like a queef. Like, I was about to like, say, it does sound like a silent fort in a library, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah you're really a Republican now. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta say it on camera because last time we hung out, somebody was at the table and he was like, yo, he looked like Andre the Giant's mini me. <laughs> Dude, bro, I wrote that into a bit. It's part of a bit now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, Hell yeah, as you fucking should, dude. I thought it was great. <laughs> and the XXL t-shirt, keeping it like guns, yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Thought that was great. Um, one thing, super tiny thing, I think for like like symmetry sake of like making the first like bit of that joke uh, on the first one match the second one, I might say take out the fuck for the... Uh, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, the working out, like hoping you don't never have to use this again. Yeah, I added that trying to like make it seem like it's like a more of like a distinction on how it's being said. So that's why I added that. Oh, there. for yeah. sure. I mean, yeah. you try different things. It yeah. was just a suggestion. You don't gotta fucking take it no, seriously. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You got anything uh, you want to say? Thought, yeah, I thought the same thing about the the XXL. Joe. I think it's funny. I think it could use some like taking some stuff out. Yeah. You know, no pun intended. But uh, <laughs> yeah, the stuff I thought the rule of three and the fucking gun joke was fucking amazing. I didn't know where the fuck it was gonna go. I thought it was great. Um, and yeah, at the end, I think uh, you know it was it was a little you know you flipped it a bit, but I think it was yeah. still a great set. And uh, yeah, good shit, bro. Uh, okay. that, yeah. yeah man. You look like a bouncer at a college bar people don't go to anymore. <laughs> 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 you be bending the IDs way too fucking hard. I can tell, dude. I can tell. It's like, dude, you bent it. It was a real ID, man. <laughs> just, he hands you back your ID like an origami crane. It just flies to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you think it's score wise, man? Uh, I think eight. I like it a lot. I think it's very funny. 8.5. 8.5, I thought. And then an eight. All right, I think that, like, before the last joke, that shit was like a nine. Like, it was super fun. Your delivery was great. Yeah. You flubbed the last joke, so yeah. I'm going to have to, like, I'm going to give that one, uh, I'm going to give it a seven even, but it was still really fucking good. Yeah, it's cool. It yeah. went higher, though. Nah. Yeah, it was good, man. Make some noise for, for him. For Is Andrew he on the leaderboard? Thank you, thank you. 15, 23.5. He's tied on the leaderboard, so make some noise for him. If somebody doesn't beat that score, we're going to have a go. four way. All right, you ready for the eighth comedian of the ninth, night? Ninth, ninth comedian. comedian of the night. We only got four more. You guys got energy for that. Make some noise for our next comic. Guys, give it up for Brian Canelli. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Dude, he had to mispronounce a <laughs> white name <laughs> just to like balance it out. <laughs> <laughs> We're all Ryan. <laughs> all right, <laughs> guys, give it up for him as he begins the set. All right, make some noise for Brian. Yeah, reset, yeah, yeah. reset. Already up here. All right. Uh, it's getting cold out. It's finally getting cold out. I don't know if you guys, you guys check your temperatures on your phone. Everyone does that. Um, I was doing this thing. They got the actual temperature on there, and then they got the real feel. And I don't like that shit at all. You know, like I don't know when we start going by vibe-based metrics for just like, you know, just like some guy at the weather station just stepped outside and was like, I know what the instruments are saying, but it feels like 38 to me today. I'm like that's good. That's good. Put it on everyone's phones. They're gonna love it. <laughs> You know, because you can't measure anything else like that, you know, like I can't be like I'm 200 pounds, but my real feels more like 150, dude. I'm light on my feet, you know, or you can't like be like um, get pulled over by an officer and they're like, you blew 0.08. You're going downtown and you're like, actually, the real feels more like 0.02. So I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be on my way. Actually, it's going to be OK. You know, or there's like a fire on the news and like 12 people perished in this fire, but don't worry, the real feel was more like nine. There was a couple that, you know, that won't be missed. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I got a dog too. I got a dog. I got to take him to the vet soon. Um, I don't know. My dog gets really nervous to go to the vet. He doesn't like it. He gets poked. He gets prodded. The worst part is that um, they don't do the temperature like the normal way for a dog. You know, they got to go around the back with the thermometer for him. And uh, the worst part about that is dogs don't know what doctors are. So the only reason that's happening is because I drove them there, you know? And that reflects pretty poorly on me, I think, you know? Like, we get along generally. I'm his buddy and all this stuff. I'm also a guy that randomly goes, like, get in the car, you know? And then we go, right? Because I give him treats when he sits. I give him treats when he rolls over. I also give him treats when a stranger sticks something to his butt. And he's like, this is the hardest trick. This is a tough... This is the, hard, this is the hardest trick. Um... I don't know. I, I walk my dog all the time. I walk him around the city. You got to clean up after the dog, right? That's part of it. Uh, the other day, I was walking my dog, and I ran out of bags to pick up for him. I ran out of bags. And I had a, you know, I want to do the right thing. I went back to my apartment, went to go get some more bags. I left the dog in the apartment when I went to go pick up his shit, which was a huge mistake. 
because I don't know if you ever thought about this, but when you're with a dog, you pretty much have the green light to pick up whatever shit you want. You know, <laughs> nobody's asking any questions, right? Without a dog, you shouldn't be picking up any shit <laughs> at all. So now I'm just a guy in sweatpants alone collecting feces on the side of the road. <laughs> Presumably for personal use. Like, I don't know what people thought was happening. It's New York City. You figure a lot would be going on. Like, people would be paying attention. People were watching. And I felt like I had to explain myself in some way. What came out was, don't worry, this is mine from before. <laughs> Which is not a clear enough explanation. All right, thanks. That's it. That's all you got. Yeah, give it up. Oh, Brian. Damn. <laughs> I don't know. I, you, I'm so tired. Um, really f funny. <laughs> really, really good joke writing. You started very quietly, and I was like, "Oh, it's gonna be like a like a little little shy set." And then you, the the punches really really did the work for you. And I think yeah. that you that you married that combination in a way that I enjoyed listening to. Thank you. How do you do? You feel like I'm giving good feedback right now? I feel like yeah, that is good. That's why I always get. I just mumble. I can't. I feel like I'm yelling when I'm here. That's just how I sound. Mm. Yeah. So when, when you're like fighting with somebody, is this do you keep this or do you? Do you I don't really get in fights with people that often. <laughs> Damn. That, that's what they tell him to say now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that's cool. He's a chill guy. It's because yeah. he has fucking Popeye forearms. Yeah. I'm not fighting <laughs> this dude. No one wants to fight this yeah, guy. Jesus, damn. you can't even jerk off. The tip of your dick would explode. <laughs> <For> real, <dude. laughs> <laughs> or other things. Yeah, or bro. other things too, maybe. Dude, yeah, they're gonna be dense on the microphone. <laughs> it back in his stand. This dude's grip is insane. <laughs> He's not picking up shit. He's picking up his cum and his, his thing. Dude, well. and he, he wants to fight us because I can tell like there's veins in his forehead that are popping off. He's like <laughs> waiting for me to say something super mean. Yeah, I uh, I thought it was really funny. I'm gonna be honest with you. At first, I was like, this shit's about to be ass because the real field joke is like one of the most fucking you know. It's one of like people's first thoughts when they're like, maybe I should do comedy. <laughs> real feel. What do you mean the weather feels like? But the way that you brought it around with the alcohol and then the people who were missing was hilarious. The only thing I'd say is like trim it up to yeah, get yeah. to that point faster because the point where you made it original and made it you like that shit was great mm -hmm. uh i think i like the uh, i like the dog going to the doctor too and the picking up the shit without the dog i thought they could have given you a little bit more like don't worry it's mine from before i think once again with the delivery if you could just like change up your speed your cadence <laughs> a little bit to just give words a little bit more weight like you'd be yeah, in a yeah. lot better spot because that's fucking hilarious thanks Thank yeah, you. I thought it was. Uh, I think the jokes, uh, the punches were super strong, but the premises were just very basic. Yeah. Uh, but still, I mean, how long have you been doing comedy? If you don't mind, um, like a year and a half about. Oh, oh dude, what that's the fucking hell? great. No, that's no. awesome. Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's that makes sense. Basic premise, but the punches <laughs> were good. Now, like, I don't want to say it now. You know, <laughs> have so much negative shit. Anyway, uh, no, dude, I think for the hottest guy that's gotten up here. <laughs> Like, and the strongest dude, you know, fucking, I think it's pretty dope that you wore uh, the shirt that you cleaned their fucking shit with. So I think it is. <laughs> it's very humbling of you to do that. So thank you very much Some for that. bleach on here. Yeah, for sure. Bleach. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I thought it was dope. I, if you're only a year and a half into it, I think you you have a pretty yeah. fucking good future if you keep fucking just thinking of different premises and shit. So, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Good shit, bro. One little tiny thing. I would say that you say, uh, oh, like a lot. So just yeah, like yeah. be aware of your uhs and try to like cut it out as a filler word mm -hmm. unless it's like to enunciate something. But mm -hmm. honestly, like I'm, that's nitpicking. I thought you're, you're doing pretty good, man. That was good. Thank you. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, really high scoring night. It feels like I'm being repetitive, but eight, honestly. It's fucking, you're funny as hell. Oh, Thank oh, you. Yeah. yeah. I want thinking? a seven on this one. Seven. Eight, seven. I'm going to go uh, 6.5. I thought it was good, but it was just, it was a little bit new. Definitely felt like a year and a half, but you're on your way, man. You're funny as hell. Thank you. Good shit, bro. Right. Hell yeah. So we got three more comics, dude, before these finals. Are you excited? $170 on the line. Let's keep that energy going for El Mandy, El Taiz, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. I feel weird. I'm going to use my notes if that's okay. Yeah. Um, Everyone Negative points. Okay. I, look, I'm, I'm a little nervous. I, I haven't been on a stage in front of this many white people since the last auction I was at. Oh. I was the auctioneer. <laughs> it was a police auction, but I, black people can be auctioneers. You don't think black people can be auctioneers? We've all heard Busta Rhymes rap. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the, the, I, I can't do it. Do I don't, it. <laughs> I don't look. I, I wasn't. I don't have that many skills. Like I tried to play sports back in the day. 
Uh, but it just felt weird having an old white man yelling at me to run up and down a field. <laughs> just seemed a little on the nose or try to navigate a court system or whatever. Uh, that's... <laughs> um, no, I, I wasn't good at sports just because like, my dad wasn't around that much to like, throw and catch with me because he was always busy saving lives in the hospital, being a doctor, you assumptuous fucks. God, you guys can't be auctioneers, can't be doctors. Y'all don't think we can do anything. Um, no, I... Uh, wow, this is a much shorter set than I expected. Uh, racism is found in really weird places. Like, I leave subtitles on every type of video I watch just because like, I eat a lot of chips and crunchy foods. And I, <laughs> I found out recently that when they say the N-word... Uh, like nigga on a video, they'll always transcribe it to the hard ER in the subtitles, which just makes it feel like they're calling me that. It's like, dude, yeah, are you still watching? It's like, are you watching it, Pornhub? <laughs> yeah, that's all I had. Thank you. Keeping it short and sweet, dude. How, how long have you been doing comedy for? Uh, I started when I was in college, and I did it for like two years, but then after the pandemic, I just kind of stopped, and this is like the first time. Since whoa, whoa. whoa. How long, what, pa pandemic? Okay, shit, damn. So what, three, four years? Then? Yeah, roughly. I mean, I went on stage like once or twice. I'm from Ohio. I'm not from here. I'm just Ooh. visiting. Okay. Um, there's Hell not yeah. a lot of stand-up places in Akron, so. Okay, for sure. I'd... So it's like your third time on stage? Ever? Basically. Wow, okay. Well, third that's... time, like less than 20, but more than 10. Damn. All right. I can't trust anything this man says, but all right. I, uh... <laughs> okay, cool. Damn, cool, cool. That, your stage presence for someone who hasn't been doing it a lot yeah. is really good. I thought you, when you were talking about the notes up top, I thought you were like, like just playing around with us. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like you, oh, no, you have the, you have the vibe that. of someone who's like, who's handled this before. Yeah. And then you ended at a minute 20 and I was like, oh, maybe that was serious. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, for, uh, for fucking fifth time, that was solid as hell, dude. Thank you. Yeah, I thought the uh, the auction joke, like subverting the expectations, was fucking hilarious. Yeah. Like it was a police auction. Then to go to Buster Rhymes, like you were about to get a fucking applause break with it. But that being said, I think when you go to your like notes on your phone, it kind of like distances us from the audit. Like it takes away from the momentum that you're building. So it's like really something you gotta like try to avoid doing. And uh, I think like the race stuff felt like a little bit like repetitive afterwards because it was hard for you to. How do I put this? You couldn't follow yourself. Like the first joke was such a like high high that I was like waiting on this to like build a little bit more because you're still on the topic of race. But because of the jokes that you did afterwards, they kind of they they weren't as good, so it felt like it was repetitive, and then it petered off a little bit, and it looks worse in comparison to the first one being so good. But that's still a compliment that the first one was so good. Uh, I think that the uh, the N word joke with the uh, like with subtitles on Netflix, like this, the the crunchy, like chips we do in crunch. That's yeah. so fucking funny. Uh, but I think that it that one is not like ready yet. You got to keep working that one in the shop for sure. Gotcha. Yeah. I would say to, that you could start with that one, like if you like a version of that, and then ending later in the auction thing with the Buster Rhymes. I think would be a good way to like set that if you're gonna stick around and keep doing this. Um, but I think going into the Buster Rhyme as an auctioneer is a fucking missed opportunity that you can easily do by just like, how much do you want to go for this one? And then just like go into that, just act it out. I think it would be fucking hilarious. I was expecting it. It doesn't matter, just make it up. Like just sound like him as much as possible. Um, but yeah, hearing the N word come out of your mouth made me very uncomfortable. Dude, I was like, is, yeah. dude, facts. I was like, is anybody gonna stop this I Samoan? Like, Yo, <laughs> is anybody? I was like, I think I don't know who could say it more, Demetrius or you. But it sounded like <laughs> either one. It sounded There's weird. Too many white people. <laughs> all right, dude. <laughs> dude, all right. I do got. I want to ask. Like, are you like? Are you Guyanese? Or are you like just straight black? Uh, Sudanese. Oh, Sudanese. All right. Hell yeah. No, for sure. I seen that curl pattern. I was like, this dude's shit is nice, yeah. low key. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this shit is Thank sweet. You. Hell yeah. yeah, nah, he, he, he can say it. That shit pass. Pass? Um, okay, cool. Yeah, I don't, I don't it's know. funny that I'm the N-word gatekeeper. It's because, like, I'm right on the fence. Like, I can only say Definitely it six months out the year, dude. Like, I can't say it all the time, so I'm pretty good at letting know people know when they can and cannot. Uh, I thought you are great. You're on your way. And uh, just, as long as you can get away from your notes, like it was a minute and a half, and, like, I'm going to be thinking about that with my scoring. So keep that in mind. Auctioneer joke? 10 out of 10 joke. <laughs> 
Yeah. That joke, absolutely fucking great. But because you only did a minute and a half and other people are filling up the jokes with three and uh, the last joke didn't like peter off as well and then you're looking at the notes the whole time, I'm going to have to give that one a five. But like the potential is so high with you. Yeah, I was going to say the same. Like if you'd done three minutes, it would be way higher. But yeah, five again. But really good stage presence, very funny shit. Please keep, come back. Yeah, I get five, out of five and a half. So. Five and a half. Yeah. What a little bit higher. That's four bit. fives. Hell yeah. 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 Make good some shit, noise bro. for him. Keep at it. Keep at it. Hell yeah. All right, are you ready for our, this is our 10th or 11th? 11th. This is our 11th comic of the night. All right, put your hands together right now for, uh, oh, Vivek, everybody. Hell yeah. yeah. What's going on, guys? I, uh, one of the things I love to do is play pickup basketball, and it's not because I'm good. It's because it's the only time 10 men gather in one location and decide racial profiling is fine, actually. <laughs> All right? And it's because, like, the dynamics are, like, changed from real life, right? It's the only time I'll see a white dude own a bunch of minorities and be like, that rocks. That's inspirational, dude. If only that dude had more natural advantages in life. You know, he could be in the NBA. It's great. It's also the only time I'll see that same white dude point and be like, those black guys need to be stopped. And I'll be like, oh, shit, he's right. Getting like a defensive stance and shit. It rocks. Um, I think like Indian dudes are still getting figured out. People are still very unimaginative with Indian dudes on basketball courts. I get called curry either way. And it's curry as in Steph if I'm playing well. And, it, and curry as in why is that Indian dude on the court if I'm playing poorly. All right. Uh, I was sick for a little while recently. I was sick for like a month, all right? And I did the thing that they tell you not to do. I started Googling all my symptoms, okay? Like, I get why they tell you not to do it, but it's very hard to do that when you're home all the time. And my search history turned into, into this weird thing where I was like Googling symptoms and I was Googling things to make me feel like a child again, all right? To like make me feel better. Here's my Google search history during this period. Here we go. Fever and chills for four weeks. Original 151 Pokemon rap. What does it feel like to die from cancer? <laughs> Was cat dog biologically possible or did they just make that shit up for the TV show? <laughs> Am I a burden to my friends and family? And then finally, AI generated images of white men getting punched by strong and masculine Indian man. <laughs> uh, they didn't have that when I was a kid. It rocks, dude, that they have that now. Um, I grew up in the 2000s and I remember that there was this time where we all trusted an application called LimeWire. Do you guys remember that? Right? I trusted that application so much that when I downloaded Lil Wayne the Carter 3, I thought it was Lil Wayne the Carter 3 and not two European dudes having sex. <laughs> but that's what it was, all right? And I remember, like, sometimes you would get the file that you wanted, right? And then three weeks later, your dad would get an email from the federal government. Do you guys remember this? And, like, the weird thing about it is I think the federal government knew that it was kids doing this and that their dad was going to read the email because this is basically what the email looked like. It was like, we see that from your IP address, these files were downloaded. Guns by Lil Wayne. Pussy by Lil Wayne. The only thing I love more than guns is pussy by Lil Wayne. You know, okay, thank you, guys. That's my time. What's up? So you, so you think it's funny to see white guys getting hit, is what I'm hearing. No, I think I love seeing white guys be good at basketball. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, way to bring it back. Way to, way to, way to flip-flop flip -flop on the topic of white men. I appreciate that. Yeah, for sure, man. That's cool. Are you, are you, you good at pickup? No, not at all. <laughs> not at all? But yeah. it's fun. It's good. It's, it's a good time. It's fun. Yeah. It's pretty chill. Um, I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> I, got some, uh, I got some notes. I think, like, when you're... When you're tackling like the uh, the topic of race, I think you need to remember to err on the side of caution, just for comedic effect as well. Because I think when people tell these jokes for a while, they're like, "Oh, I'm gonna win these people back," and then they're gonna be like laughing at the thing. But I think that like you need to acknowledge that this is a little bit more of a risque thing to say. And then we're kind of in on the joke of like, oh, I shouldn't be saying this because like the jokes, I didn't like have any problem with the jokes. Those black guys need to be stopped is hilarious. And then uh, I talking about the racial profiling with basketball. It's like it's true and it's funny and it happens. But like tell it to us like how we feel, because at the end of the day, you're not the one you're usually getting profiled with that. I think the uh, the curry joke for sure bombed. That shit did not work. <laughs> sure, sure. And you, you, you didn't need to. You could have made it not do that. So 
it's still there, you know. Curry's your thing, and that's a guy. I don't know. Maybe you thought he was your guy. I don't. I, that's like the. I'm still trying to figure out like a tag for that one. Yeah, you it's know? yeah, it's okay. It'll come at some point later. But um, I didn't quite understand like with the last one with the uh, the the little Wayne songs. Was it like, oh, you were afraid your dad was going to see like how terrible the songs yeah, were? I don't know if that's like a – so that's a new joke. I don't know if that's a reference people get. I'm kind of trying to – like I, that email happened to me. Yeah, for sure. So I was like, oh, maybe that's a thing that happened to people that like – Are those actual – I don't mean to sound white. Those are, are for sure not little, songs. No. No, 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 they're not. They're yeah, not. Yeah, so yeah, maybe sure. finding – I mean, Little Wayne definitely has songs where the, you can yeah, pull yeah. out actual names. and. 100%. You know, like, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. It's like it just feels like weird and like – I'm not going to call it like fully it's – it's not like racist, but it just feels a little bit weird and distasteful yeah, sure, to sure. that because he does have songs that are fucking crazy, so why not – Say the actual thing that you're sure. gonna do. Or the lyrics from it, if it's not the name yeah. of the song, something. That really and then the 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 feel better like nostalgia thing. I don't know. They liked it though. They liked it. That was doing pretty well. I don't really have any notes on that. They, they like they fucked with that. So I'm not gonna say anything else other than that. But they oh, they yeah. they liked it. Um, I think yeah. I think there the little bit of a problem that that there was is that you were which I've had this problem before, like talking too fast and then saying too many words when you can just like economy of time and economy of words, you could just take out some shit that you don't need. Even with the Curry thing, I think if you literally just said, hey, yo, Curry, and in your head you're like, oh, he thinks I'm Steve Curry, and then you realize oh, without good, even yeah. saying it, like just like we already know what we're what you're saying without having to say that. Um, I think it's cool. I think the two Europeans having sex thing, I think you could also do that with little Wayne things. Like maybe it's like something lollipop, something you can match that like actually would tie that even further. There's like more... Like meat on that bone, no pun intended. But the two Europeans guys, sure. but, but yeah, good, uh, good shit. Yeah. What do you What are you giving it? What do you think? What am I thinking? I mean, I'm gonna be honest with it. I feel like it was, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't like bad, but I feel like it was just a little slightly below average. I'm gonna go four point five. I'm gonna go six point five. All right. I'm gonna go six on this one. Five, six point five, and yeah. six. All right, yeah. we'll make some noise for you back, everybody. Hell yeah, we got two more comics. One, you ready? My final comic. Oh, this is a final comic? Yeah. Wow. Oh, shit. My bad. Okay. All right. Hell yeah. Well, that guy already went up. This is the part where there's too many names to look at. This is what we're realizing right Give now. Give me a word. I'll start freestyle rapping. Um, Josh Tinley. Huh? Josh, uh, Dosh, Josh Tinley. Boot. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, I really hope I find a name quickly. Oh, here we go. Tinley uh, yeah, is please hard. Stop with this. All right, uh, hell yeah. <laughs> that was good beatboxing, though. I, dude, I, dude, I just found that out. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> dude, <laughs> fuck. I couldn't freestyle rap. Now I got one more month, no more N words. That's man. it. <laughs> this sucks. I failed my black challenge yeah, of dude. October. This get is... him to do it. He'll do it for you, dude. Oh, just man. get him to say it for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got one more comic. Do you guys got energy for him? Yeah. Clap it up. Yeah. Hell yeah. He's one of you. Possibly could go home with $170 right now. Make some noise for JJ Aries, everybody! Give it up for JJ! Yeah. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Yeah. Doing good? Yeah. Happy Indigenous Day, guys. Yeah. We're great. A little quick story. Um, I was working at my job. I was chilling by the register. Um, and I was helping this like uh, feminist like blogger. She was talking about like all the fashion articles she was working. And out of nowhere, she was like, oh my god. I love your indigenous look. Um, I, I've been a, a Latino living in 22 years in New York City. I've never been indigenous. So I, I just took her tip, you know, I took the reparations. Okay, cool. Um, I have a lot of tattoos. Uh, I, I kind of hate this time of the year because like we always have to wear jackets and I can't show off my tattoos and how cool I am, you know? <laughs> like I was hooking up with this girl uh, around this time of year um, and I'm, we made it back to her place, and I took off my jacket, and she was like, oh my God, you were covered, your whole body was covered this whole time? And she took off her jacket, and I said the same thing, but she got really angry. And maybe it's because she was a burn victim, but <laughs> I mean, my, my family hates my tattoos, they're religious, and she's a burn victim, so like, we're both inked by the devil somehow, you know, it's cool, guys. <laughs> We're all doing good here. Um, growing up, I really wanted to like look older, look like a man. Um, I wouldn't really want to have a mustache. Um, and now I have two mustaches, so that's cool. Um, that's awesome. Um, they're kind of divided. One is Republican, one is Democrat. It's cool. You know, we're just, that's just the man look I have now. Um, 
you know, I'm also, you know, Gen Z. Um, I'm young. I have a lot of friends who are, like, really woke. I also have a lot of friends who are really, like, into drugs. I find it's most annoying when they're both into drugs and woke. Like, they, they like, complain about, like, animal fur and, like, their fentanyl. You know, they, they'll complain about everything. Like, I go to, like, my McDonald's with my friend, and I was like, dude, we're about to get some 20-piece chicken nuggets. It's going to be a great day. And he was like, bro, I'm boycotting McDonald's. I cannot support that corporation. And I was like, you can wait outside, brother. Like, well, I'm getting my chicken nuggets. And so we, we went to the McDonald's. We got the chicken nuggets. He was staring at me in, like, disgust as I was eating my 20-piece. You know, he did not fuck with that at all. He was like, how could you eat that, JJ? How could you consume their products? And I was like, bro, you're on ketamine right now. Like, how are you judging my chicken nuggets? Whatever my chicken nuggets are made out of, the ketamine he's using, that's used as tranquilizer for my chicken nuggets. You know what I'm saying? Like, he can't judge my chicken nuggets. Um, are we excited for Halloween? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna dress up as a, as an illegal, um, as an illegal that immigrated straight to a hot topic. I think that's my look <laughs> going forward. Um, I do like indigenous people. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, man. I'll just sit in it. Um, sit in the stew. Um, I was a. Uh, I was trying to like, you know, explain to my mom like my tattoos. She doesn't like my tattoos. Like, she doesn't understand the pain I went through. Like, I, I got a whole back piece. It took like six hours. It was the worst pain of my life. Like, it took six hours. And I, and I was so surprised that the worst pain was yet to come. It was her beating me with a Bible for the next six hours after I got my tattoo. She beat me. You ever been beat with proverbs? That shit hurts. All right, thank you, peace. As JJ Arias, dude. JJ, be, be, be honest. Have you ever dressed up as the, the Joker for Halloween? No, but I should. Yeah. I think that would look fly as so. hell. I don't, I don't mean to be... Uh, we, can we see the back piece? Yeah. It's actually, it's, I don't want to flash y'all, but it's actually really dope. <laughs> whoa, oh, damn, oh, oh, shit. Whoa. whoa. Jesus, what does that say? What That's say? so intricate. Uh, no it's pasta like... nada. That's what my mom said when she used to beat me. Uh, <laughs> no pasta nada. No pasta nada. <laughs> Yeah, oh, dude. That oh, was, dude, for the white people, that means nothing yeah. happened. Nothing <laughs> happened. It looks like, you know, like a, like a, like a drip sandcastle on the beach? Yeah. That's my, what it feels like. Yeah, he paid house. so much money for it. Do you know how long it took him <laughs> how much to get money for that? for that? No, my immigrant parents, they thought it was like uh, like the skyline of New York City. <laughs> <laughs> are, they, are they blind? <laughs> no. <laughs> They're on ketamine. They that's, yeah. yeah. that's actually really cool. Damn, I'm very that's jealous. Dope. Thank you. Oh, it's great. Yeah, yeah dope. I uh, I love you look, dude. I feel like you look so much like a super senior. Like no, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> just one more year. You know what I mean? <laughs> Honestly, I'm cleaning up. I think uh, I think that they could have given you a little bit more. It's hard to go last here on this show because like you have to see all these people who are disappointed that they didn't get pulled. Yeah. Um, I think they could have given you a little bit more because the McDonald's joke. I don't know what happened differently, but you got a huge pop on it when you tried it like last week. I don't know if it was like a different trying of words or if the people were just being mad at you. Do you, but... guys, do you guys fuck with McDonald's? <laughs> Yeah, big fuck McDonald's. That line of the ketamine, that they insert the ketamine into the what I'm eating, these chicken nuggets, I think that's, yeah. a, that's a great line. That that is, yeah, it is funny. It's it is very, funny. Very Two good. mustaches is hilarious. That shit. <laughs> yeah. What's you, awesome. You got to change the tags, though, to keep the fucking energy going, because those ones didn't hit quite that hard. And I'm not saying get rid of, like, the liber or the Republican Democrat thing, but, like, maybe find another tag afterwards that'll make that one hit more. But okay. that joke is really fucking funny. Uh, and... The indigenous look one, that shit was a little bit rough. I wouldn't open with that. Did you open with a new joke? Yeah. I, yeah. Said, I said it on mic earlier today. It got a really big support. All right. Okay. Maybe they were just all racist. You know, I don't know. 100%. Yeah. I will say in the divided mustache thing, I think it's dope. Maybe doing something like adding what one would say and what would the other say. Like one thinks yeah, I should yeah. keep it, one thinks I should shave it. Like something like that, you can just keep adding tags on it. That was an abortion thing, but fuck you guys. Uh, yeah, no, yeah maybe one time you shave too much in the middle and now it's the far left. Right. In the far right. That was more bad. to that because that is very funny. I got to keep this damn mustache. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's your look, bro. That's your look. Mustache based. Tattoo your fucking mustache in, bro. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
I like the I like a line you said. I don't know if it was a throwaway, but I can't show people how cool I am coming from your yeah. energy, which is very like low and dope. I think it's 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 something you could play with even more. Like even using that throughout your set, like throwing lines like that. Well, but you guys know how like, fucking strong and fucking bulky I am, and shit like that. That could be um, adding to it. Um, and yeah, I thought it was a cool side. They should have given you more, in my opinion. Yeah, they should have. Yeah. I like the burn victim too joke too yeah, a little so, bit. I oh, I expected that. it was like a fat Bro, chick that joke. Was so yeah, the burn victim was fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. dude, that I liked it. I thought it was fun. You guys could have given him more. I think that that was it's you guys' fault, all right? Dude. I mean, a little bit. They're a little, they're a little schlubs right now. But to be honest, I liked. It. I'm gonna give it a six. What you I'm thinking? Seven point five. I like seven point five for me. Seven. All right. You didn't quite make the leaderboard this time, but that was still pretty good, man. Makes good it job, job, It's not easy going last. All right. Are you guys ready for our finals? There's $170 on the line. Oh. And nobody beat Andrew and Vishal's score. So there's going to wow. be four people in the finals tonight, which is it's pretty rare. All right. Well, the way we're going to do this is we're going to go from the bottom of the list to the top of the list for the highest score. The highest score is going to be Brenda Smith. Then we have Akshay and then Vishal and then Andrew. But we're going in the opposite order of that. And then they're going to do one joke. Maybe like it's like around a minute, but it's, it's a joke. It's not like a hard time limit on it. You got that, guys? Yeah. Christ, guys. All right. <laughs> this is a big deal. This is a to make hundred and seventy dollars in comedy takes ten Not years. Yeah, it really takes does. ten years to do that, yeah. and that's gonna happen to somebody tonight. So make some fucking noise. Our job as judges is done. This is one hundred percent your job to laugh at these people and give them energy. And I guess this guy's leaving. But either way, make some noise. Put your hands together right now for Andrew, everybody. Andrew, do better. It's the goddamn finals. More. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Uh, I've been watching a lot of serial killer documentaries recently, and I like them. The only thing I don't like about them, though, is that every documentary, a scene will come in where a detective comes on screen, and he'll be like, we almost caught the killer, but he bought a plane ticket to flee the country. And I hate that scene every single time I see it, because that scene just made me realize, like, I can't even afford to be a serial killer. <laughs> Like, this guy has flee the country. Who has flee the country money lying around? Like, I barely have flee the county money right now. <laughs> like, they caught that guy at the airport. I'm going to get caught at a Lowe's because my card got declined buying a shovel, all right? <laughs> and even when it's like a backwater swamp serial killer, they're always like, yeah, we found the bodies after combing his 13-acre estate. I'm like, this guy's a fucking landowner, too? You know what I'm saying? That is, I had to bury my dog at a public park, and this guy has bodies? <laughs> All right, guys, this is my time. My name is Andrew Ariana. Hell yeah, make some noise for Andrew. Let's keep that energy yeah. going as the show comes to the stage. Yeah. Let's up, keep the energy up, going. Up, clap it up. Oh, what's up? You guys, uh, you guys know Chuck E. Cheese is going public? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can buy stock in Chuck E. Cheese, which, do you guys remember Chuck E. Cheese where like kids would go to disappear? You can, we can invest in it. I, I have so many ideas for Chuck E. Cheese. This is what I would do. I would let every kid in for free and then just charge pedophiles $4,000. <laughs> right? I, obviously, we wouldn't let them near the kids unless they earn enough tickets. Rules are rules. I don't make them. All right. Thank you, guys. Oh, yeah. Make some That's noise it. for Vishal, everybody. Let's keep that energy going as Akshay comes to the stage. Keep it going for your host. All right. Uh, my parents are pretty cool. I think they're cool because they came to the country as adults. And that's the best time to move to America. Because, like, I, we were, I was a kid when I came here. I spent my whole childhood, like, studying movies, trying to fit in. Adult immigrants don't do any of that shit. They just, like, walk in and start picking and choosing their favorite parts of American culture. It's awesome to see. I'll talk to one of my friend's dads, and he's like, yeah, me? I like Jeopardy, Metallica, and Wicked. And I'm like, all right, dude, that rocks. But I really would do that, right? Like, every time I would watch a movie as a kid, I'd get really into it. So, like, I saw Rudy, and I got really into football for, like, a week. And then I, got, I saw The Blind Side, and I got really into white people for a week. And then I saw Harold and Kumar, and I was like, this is my Black Panther, actually. This is how I'm going to live. But, like, I did that because I was a stupid kid. Like, I didn't realize that, like, the main character in a movie is only cool in the context of the movie, right? Like, if The Blind Side happened in your town, you wouldn't be like, oh, Sandra Bullock, what a cool lady. You'd be like, you hear Sandra Bullock stole a black kid? 
<laughs> you're gonna be like, what? Why? You're like, for her high school's offensive line, dude. It's not even a good reason. It's crazy. All right, thank you guys. All right, make some noise for Akshay, everybody, and let's keep it going as Brendan Smith comes to the stage. So guys, uh, it's Halloween coming up and watch a lot of horror movies. I watched, uh, I watched Nightmare on Elm Street for the first time recently, and I didn't realize Freddy Krueger is the only monster who becomes a better person once he's a monster. Because the whole thing with Freddy Krueger is that when he's a human, he's raping kids. He's raping all the kids in town, so they kill him. And then he comes back to life as a monster, and he never rapes another kid. <laughs> like, he murders adults, but that's better. You know, that's... <laughs> There are like 10 movies in that franchise. Not one kid gets raped after that. Not once. Most franchises that long, there's like an incidental kid rape or two. You know, like... You know, like he got a glove with knives on his hand, but he learned about consent, I guess. I don't... He got a knife glove, but there are worse ways for him to put his fingers inside you. Okay, I'm Brandon Smith. Hell yeah. Okay. Make some noise for Brendan Smith. I realize we've also made an error in this show. We didn't have one woman come up here and tell a joke. So, you know what? Fuck it. Come up here and do one joke. First woman to come to the stage and do one joke. The audience can vote on you if you win this competition. Sweep for $170. Is there one woman comic in here who wants to tell a joke? I will. Okay, perfect. Hell yeah! What's your name? My name's Angela Sawyer. Hello. Oh, yeah. Woo! One joke from Angela Sawyer to possibly sweep for $170. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Let's, Let's go. do it. Ta-da. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, my favorite day of the year is the first hot day in spring. You know, when everybody goes outside. And I love to go outside with everybody else, go out to a park, and look for my favorite harbinger of spring, which is a babe. And if you don't know what that is, that is just a dude on the phone going, but, but babe, but babe. It's very nice. I like to see it. Last, uh, this spring, uh, I saw my favorite one ever. Uh, I saw a guy on the phone, and he goes, but babe, what if history blames both sides? Oh, what crime did that guy commit? It's scary. Okay, bye. All right, make some noise for Angela, everybody. Stay on the stage. Let's get all the other finalists up here on the stage. Yeah, make noise clap for them as they for come the to the stage. Guys. Please, you only have to clap just a little bit longer. Please. All right. The way this is going to work is we're going to go from right to left, and then you're only going to clap for the person who you want to take home. Literally $170 fucking dollars of cold, hard cash, dude. God. Come on now. All right. If you want Angela to make... Uh, all right, let me say one more thing first. Go fucking crazy for your person, because I'm not going to do this twice. Clap and make as much noise as you can for them if you want them to win, because the loudest person is going to take home the money. You got that? Make noise for me to make sure you understand. Perfect. If you think Angela should take home this money, make some noise for her right now. Oh, my God. Ladies, come on, dude. It's all right. <laughs> if you think Vishal should take home this money, make some noise for him right now. Oh, ladies. Ladies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you think Fuck. Akshay should take home this money, make some noise for him right now. <laughs> Hell, yeah. <laughs> if you think Brendan should take home this money, make some noise for him right now. Ooh, that's pretty good. All right, if you think Andrew should take home this money, make some noise for him right now. Still good, but it's looking like Wonder. Brendan. Congratulations. Congrats. You're the winner of the comedy lottery. Thank you so much for coming out. Thanks to all the comedians who signed up. Carlos, yeah, thank you so much for being here. Thank that was you awesome. Guys, thank you. Come Brendan. for Brendan one more time, everybody. Brendan, come take all this fucking money. Brendan. <laughs>